Phoenix Splash TV. So, I saw Suicide Squad. And once again, critics are confusing. It's kind of funny how I thought the third Dark Knight movie was sour, and people ate that one up and appreciated it. Suicide Squad is different, I actually thought it was really good. So here I come with my review for The Suicide Squad. I'll try not to put any spoilers, but there really isn't anything that will shock you. Well there's a few things, but... Well first, let's address something that's been bugging me for a long time now. Why the hell does everyone care about the Joker? It seems every review I read or watch tends to shit all over the Joker or praise the hell out of him. The advertisements too are another thing, I don't get it. Before I saw the movie, I thought Joker was going to be all over it, which is why I had doubts. I'm going to be honest, I'm a bit tired of the Joker, frankly. Now don't get me wrong, I know he's an interesting character, but he's just everywhere. Now what did I think about the Joker in Suicide Squad? Personally, I didn't care too much about him. I mean, at times I think he was trying to sound like Mark Hamill's Joker, and I wasn't a big fan of Joker having tattoos, but he was pretty much a minor part of the film, or at least he seemed that way to me. Plus, all my problems with him are really nitpicky, so take what you will out of that. Let's go over some things that I didn't like about the movie, and there is some stuff that I predicted would happen, and then it did. It's something I see in modern westerns all the time. Whenever a Native American character or actor portraying a character is introduced, I just know he's going to die. If you're in a theater with me, I will literally point out and say, he's gonna die. And you know what the sad thing is? I'm always right about it, usually, most of the time. The Revenant was no different. An interesting Native American character shows up and then somehow dies, most of the time in the most stupidest ways. Somehow, Suicide Squad managed to do this probably accidentally. To a wind talker of all people. And no, this isn't a spoiler. Out of all the Suicide Squad members, he's the only one with no backstory and has the stupidest superpower. What's his superpower? He can climb anything. Like, you know he's gonna die as soon as you see him. Other than that, I thought the villains could have been better, but with all of these superhero movies, that's my usual complaint. I never remember the villain of the superhero movie, that's just the way they are. Now for the good things, Will Smith was the best thing about the movie. Some people hated that his story was emotional, but I thought it was the right decision. I never really cared for the character Deadshot. But the writing in here was pretty cool, and Will Smith played the part pretty darn well. By the end of it, he'll make you forget all about that co-star. Out of all the characters, Deadshot was my favorite. I don't know, maybe it's because I like a good tearjerker. It even made some of the people cry at the theater I was at. Looks like Will Smith is two for two. Another favorite character of mine was El Diablo. I thought they built him up really well and he played a big part at the climax of the movie. His story was also pretty messed up and I really liked his look. A lot of people don't like how Amanda Waller is portrayed. And I do admit, the things she does in the movie are pretty flawed and don't make any sense, like most superhero movies, but it got the plot moving. Now I know this character, but haven't read the comics really that much, so I can't really make an accurate judgment of the character. Now for Harley Quinn, another character people seem to bitch about or love. While there were some things that annoyed me about her, I really didn't have a problem with her overall as a character or as an actress. I did cringe every time she said pudding though. But you know she has to say that, she's Harley Quinn. There was one thing that bothered me though, and I guess I'm going to call spoilers on this part, when she walked away from the group, they didn't kill her like they did Slipknot, which made Slipknot's death even more meaningless. He can climb anything has to be one of the most meaningless deaths in cinema. But I digress, I thought the actress played Harley's part pretty well, and I thought her backstory was pretty much what Harley Quinn's backstory is supposed to be. Overall, I thought the movie was pretty fun, I mean it's no masterpiece, but as far as superhero movies go, I thought it really did well. Now I might be coming at this from a different perspective for most people. To be honest, I'm actually a bit tired of these superhero movies, which is kind of funny because I'm into a lot of comics. Yeah, I don't know why critics are so harsh on this film. 
Yes, I can agree that it does try too hard on some scenes, but I feel that way about most superhero movies I see. It kind of reminds me of Sega games. Once you make something bad, people are just going to look down at your next project, expecting it to be bad. I guess that's just the nature of the beast. So before I end this show, I gotta talk about some things. As you may have noticed, my avatar has changed. Some of you might be wondering why. Well, it's because SNK is back, making games and taking names. The little alien image I use is from SNK vs Capcom Chaos, and I don't own it. I've always wanted to change it for quite some time, so I figured I would just abruptly change it. Another thing that may change soon is the Phoenix Splash logo. Don't know when it will change, but it's being made by an artist named Mikey Nunn. His brother Nicholas also wanted me to mention his name in this particular video. So BAM! There it is. But I digressed. So what do you guys think about Suicide Squad? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Phoenix Splash TV. This is Game Analyzer, signing off.